Good evening, everyone in the UK. 7.30 in the UK. Good, day, good evening, everyone around the world. Whatever time it is, wherever you are, it's great to have you along to the Monday Run Club on Zwift. Let's just set a few things up here and then we will get going for our regular progressive session on Zwift. Facebook are going to join us in about 1 minute and 20 seconds. But I like to get the stream going and set up and ready so I know what I'm doing. Hopefully it'll all work. And uh, you can see on the clock there on Zwift we've got just over a minute to go before we start. So I'm going to start running or start at least walking. One minute and one second to go. And uh, Krista Holt is leading us tonight, so thankfully I don't have to do the leading. I always find it a nightmare when I have to lead the run and stream at the same time. So we're going to get going and uh, look for the yellow beacon, that's Krista. We're starting off at 11 and a half kilometers an hour for five minutes. So let's just get up to that pace. Although it does look like Krista hasn't been given the uh, the yellow beacon, so he's just going to have to message as normal. Welcome along to Monday Run Club. Hello Facebook. Hello YouTube. I don't know if we're on Mixer, but hello Mixer if you're watching as well. Let's just have a look. No. Oh yes, we are. Hello to everyone on Mixer. <laughs> the welcome screen has now gone off, don't worry. So tonight, we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of us in group A, and there's one person running in group C. We normally have four groups, A, B, C, and D, but uh, for these Monday Run Clubs, groups A and B join together, and group C and D join together. Also, because at the moment it's a fairly quiet period on Zwift because it's summertime across Europe. So, uh, a lot of the runners that we get are from Europe, although plenty from the USA, plenty from Australia, but of course, that's a different time zone. So, 7 30 Monday, Monday Run Club, here we go, five minutes at 11 and a half kilometers an hour. Hello, Coney. Um, okay, how long do we do this for? So this session is going to be a 10 kilometer run and 10 kilometers will take us about 45 to 50 minutes. So we've gone here for 50 minutes. Is that all right? You don't have to stare around. If you've got something else to do that's more important, what could be more important than watching somebody running on Zwift? Yeah, yeah, all right, plenty of things, but nevertheless, this is our Monday workout. All these people you see are real people, all on their treadmills. They might be at the gym or they might be at home, and they're all around the world, so you can see we've got Norway, Spain. Is that Israel? Shapiro from Israel, USA, um, I don't know what that flag is down there, is that Romania, maybe, anyway, all over the world, running together on this game that we love to call Zwift. Thanks to the host on Mixer. We should turn over and look at uh, Facebook. I'm not clever enough to have Mixer chat and Facebook chat open at the same time. 
I have to flip between the two because I'm a bit rubbish. Suffice to say, anyway, we're doing five minutes at this pace. So in just under two minutes, we're going to up the pace to 12 kilometers an hour for another five minutes. And it basically carries on like that. Paul Dan says, well done on the marathon in the hot weather on Saturday. Yeah, it was a bit tough, to be honest. Way off the time I wanted, about 20 minutes slower than I wanted to be. But you know, what can you do? What can you do? My wife just tells me I'm not on it at the moment because I'm not fit enough to run a fast marathon. <laughs> She's probably right, but it was hot. And hello to Alexander. So just under a minute and we're going to up the pace to 12 kilometers an hour. The idea is that we go up to 13 and a half kilometers an hour over the course of 20 minutes and then we drop back down and we go up again. It's that, a bit like a, an interval session and a progressive session all rolled into one. Thankfully I don't have to issue any instructions tonight because Krista is going to try and issue the instructions and there we are look at five minutes 12 kilometers an hour. <laughs> so um, I had a photograph of me taken the other day um, sitting in a massive doghouse and my wife couldn't resist posting Stevens in the doghouse again but it was huge it was, I mean I could almost stand up in it it was for one of those big bloodhounds So uh, Tim is uh, just saying <laughs> something to that effect on Facebook. Okay, I should be up at 12 now, I'm not paying attention. There we are, falling behind. Let's just go up a little bit to catch everybody up. See, you should pay attention, you've got to pay attention on these runs or you get left behind or you don't know what's coming next. You've got to watch the screen for the instructions. Normally the instructions are in big letters in the front of the screen, but today um, our usual leader couldn't, um, couldn't join and it was a bit of a last minute thing that Krista has stepped in to help out. So Krista Holt there, just behind me from Norway, he is leading the group today. So we've done just over a kilometre, nine to go. If, um, as usual guys, if you've seen this before, if you've got any questions, if you want to say hi, do drop me a line on Facebook or in Mixer. I'm watching both those chats and if you've never seen Zwift before, do ask any questions you like and I'll try and answer them. If you're wondering what the heck's going on here, what you're looking at, Dad Warden says, go on lad, I believe in you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and Take Down Here Junior has come up with a brilliant suggestion, which I'm not gonna repeat. See, the thing about Mixer is, it's for the people who don't care. They don't care what they're watching and they'll just take the mic and that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. I love the mixer crowd. Because it's such a good mix. Thanks for the ride on Georgie. Okay, so some people are asking what console this is and what, what game it is. So, okay, Zwift is an app. It is a computer game, it's an app, you can download it to your phone, 
or your iPad, um, or you can download it to a Mac or a PC. I'm running it on a PC, and then you get a treadmill, and you get a little device to fit on your foot. It's a foot pod, and that foot pod sends speed information to your computer, and that's how the computer reads how fast you're going. You can also wear a heart rate monitor so you can see top left of the screen. That is my heart rate, 151 BPM. And uh, that tells you that I'm working relatively hard at the moment, not massively hard. I'm in the middle zone, so you can see it's colored yellow. So that means zone three. Zone one is blue, zone two is green, zone three yellow, zone four orange, and zone five red. So when I get into zones four and five, you know I'm really busting a gut and it's really hurting. So in one minute, we're going up to 12 and a half kilometers an hour. Five more minutes. Hi, Brony a wheel on Mixer. Hi, Nikki D. And Shane Airy, is that? Hello, mate. And, the, <laughs> and somebody says the guys on the bike are cheating. <laughs> they, they're on trainers at home. So they're all real people as well. And they've got bike trainers in their sheds or garages or wherever it might be. And uh, their bike trainers are sending speed information to Zwift as well. So this is a real computer game because you're earning XP points. You see there, I'm on level 19. And uh, not far off level 20. The further you run, the faster you run, the more points you get, and that allows you to level up. But this is an imaginary world that we're running in called Watopia. The McNugget says, why is this so entertaining? I, oh. <laughs> I don't know, because it's somebody is it because it's real people doing something real rather than sitting at a computer screen? Although, you know, that's entertaining as well, isn't it? I like watching that, so I don't know. At the bottom of the screen, you see a grey shaded area and a red line. That's just another graphic display of my uh, pace and heart rate. So the grey shaded area is how fast I'm going. And the uh, red is heart. The red is my heart rate. So we're up now to um, twelve and a half kilometres an hour. And I'm behind because I missed it again. Concentration. I've got to concentrate, or I missed the instructions. See, the only thing about leading is if I'm leading the run, I don't miss the instructions because I'm issuing them. Anyway, so now I've jumped up, jump, just jumping up into the orange heart rate zone, zone four. So I'm starting to work a bit harder and it is really hot in this shed. So I'm sweating a lot now. And we've still got just under eight kilometers left to run. We've only done two kilometers. How scary is that? And the pace will keep going up for about 10 more minutes. 13 more minutes. Right, let me just nip back to Facebook and say hello to everyone there. Dean says good evening. He says he couldn't resist a sneaky watch of Monday Run Club, but he's not training today. Rest day, Dean. 
Ingrid says she's watching from Hawaii. I'd love to be in Hawaii right now, oh yes. So two more minutes at this pace and then we go up to 13 kilometers an hour for five more minutes. Heart rate definitely established in zone four now. There's Chris just apologising that his messages are not showing front and centre and that he doesn't have the uh, the yellow beacon to show him his leader. A little bit of a, a late change to the leader tonight. So yeah, this is an imaginary island created by Zwift. So it's not based on anywhere real. Some parts of it, some parts of it are based on real places, but generally it's a completely invented island. So we can run underwater like this. Okay, I'm gonna go up to 13 now because I missed the earlier instruction. Everyone else is going up to 13 kilometers an hour in 10 seconds. Big group of cyclists going past. Okay, so we stay now at 13 kilometers an hour for another five minutes. And then we'll go up one more time to 13 and a half for five minutes. And then we we'll come back down. And then we build up one more time to the end of the run. So this is where we start to think about how breathing, start to think about expanding the lungs so that we're not wasting energy and we're getting as much oxygen in as we can to utilize in the muscles to burn the glycogen stores that we've got. Glycogen is what's keeping the muscles going. Choosy Bubble says, am I sweating? Yes, I blooming well am sweating. It's really hot in this shed. It's really hot outside here in the UK. And uh, so the shed that I'm in at the bottom of the garden is like a sauna. And I haven't got a fan. I've got all the doors and windows open, but it doesn't make it much cooler. So gradually increasing the pace, gradually increasing the heart rate. Um, somebody's asking what's the highest speed we'll get to. Um, the highest speed we'll get to is 14 kilometers an hour for the last five minutes of the run. So it's progressive up to 13 and a half. Then we drop back down and then we go back up and we finish with five minutes at 14 kilometers an hour. I mean, that's not the fastest we'll go in training. Some sessions on a Wednesday, we're doing 16 kilometers an hour for some intervals. But my limit, I think, for sprint intervals I wouldn't want to go much over 16 kilometers an hour. That's about my pace, I think. Two more minutes at this pace.
<laughs> a load of people on mixers just saying, keep going, keep going, keep running. Oh, I will, I will, I will keep running for another six and a half kilometers. Don't you worry about that. There's no stopping. It just gets hotter. I work harder. I get more tired and I collapse at the end. So if you do see me collapse, don't forget to call 999 or 911 if you're in the States. The higher you watch my heart rate go, the more you know I'm working. So if by some chance I do go into the red zone, zone five, and I get to like 170, 174, 175 beats per minute, you'll know I'm in serious hard working land. At the moment, we're not too bad. This is like a comfortable hard working pace, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Says if you're near Sheffield, he's got me. Okay, buddy. Unfortunately not. Funnily enough though, our run leader, John, John Hancock, who uh, couldn't make it tonight, he's from Sheffield. All right, so, one more increase of pace to 13 and a half, and then we'll come back down. So five minutes time, we come back down to 12 and a half kilometers an hour. Right now, we're going up to 13 and a half. I'm on the south coast of England, so I'm in, uh, in a, a town called Worthing, which is near Brighton, on the south coast of the UK in Sussex. We've done four kilometres, we've got six left to go. So, if you're ever doing training sessions like this, you've got to keep relaxed, can't panic, shoulders dropped, head up, breathe nice and easy. I can't breathe nice and easy because I'm talking to you guys, but normally just steady breathing, open up your lungs and just relax. Try not to let your steps per minute, that is your cadence, go over 180 too much. 180 is just about right. Any faster than that, and you're not being quite as efficient, but it's probably down to your muscles being tired. And if I were to go much faster, the cadence would increase. But ideally, I want to keep it around around 180. Thanks for the host on Mixer. <laughs> do I have a spittoon? No, I do not. I have a garden that way. So when I spit, the game is to try and get the spit between the two doors and out into the garden perfectly. If I hit the doors, that's 10 points off. I'm currently 10 points down. Okay, we are coming up to uh, two minutes to go at this pace and then we can drop down and have a rest of sorts. All right, so two minutes left now at this pace. 164 BPM, still in the orange zone. Everyone else is staying together. 
You can see all the names of the people on the right hand side there. <laughs> Texas Liberator says, do I do this all the time? Well, kind of. I, uh, I stream about two to three times a week, Monday, Wednesday and Friday, all at UK time 7.30. So that's about 2.30 p.m. Eastern time. 10 points back. And uh, Monday, I do Monday Run Club on Zwift and we stream it live on the Zwift Run page on Facebook and on Mixer. Wednesday, I stream the Wednesday workout on my own channel. That is the Film My Run channel, Film My Run. And then on Friday, I often do a workout and that is also on the Zwift Run channel on Facebook and on Mixer. Okay, 30 seconds, and we can slow it down. So that's halfway through the session now. And a little bit of a relax. Slow down now. So just a chance to get the breath back a little bit. Maybe the heart rate might come down a bit, but maybe not. Just try and taking some deep breaths use these five minutes to try and have some kind of recovery. The Tobster says, keep it up. Thanks, buddy. Just go and have a look at Facebook chat. Tom Bunn says, new treadmill. No, it's a borrowed treadmill. It's a lone treadmill, but the good thing about this treadmill is called a Techno Gym My Run. And uh, the good thing about it is, is it's directly connected to Zwift via Bluetooth. So I don't need to use a foot pod. Most people here are using a foot pod. Um, but I don't, I don't have to because my treadmill can connect direct. So. All I have to do is put one finger on this, knock it down to 12.4, it goes to 12.4. Knock it up, 12.5, it goes back up to 12.5. Simple as that. So it's really good. Somebody on Mixer just asked, how do I know my opponents aren't cheating? Well, firstly, I don't call them my opponents. I call them my running buddies. And we're not racing. We are doing a training workout but that said there isn't really any way to truly know that somebody isn't kind of gaming the system other than possibly heart rate you can tell if somebody's working hard by the heart rate in the corner and it's not very easy to fake that that said yes you know you could um, miscalibrate your treadmill and uh, or your foot pod and uh, you could actually be running much slower on the treadmill but on Zwift you'd be running much faster it is possible to do that but I like to think and I think the Zwift community like to believe that most people there's always going to be some and certainly in cycling it does happen but most people are honest and they just want a good workout and when it comes to racing they'll want an enjoyable honest race I suppose that's quite naive really but at the end of the day 
I don't really care what other people are doing. You know, unless it's like a thousand pound prize for the winner of a race. All I want to do is have a really good workout. And if I can't get outside with real people, I'll be inside online with real people. And I'll enjoy their company and make it social. Another 10 points back for me. Oh, that's a weird view. Hands in front of the camera. So, um, another minute and 10 seconds, and then we have to go up again to 13 and a half. My heart rate hasn't really come down much. Still at 164, but that's because I've been talking to you guys. Thanks for the host again, Mixer. <laughs> Little gymnast, thank you for your educated comment. We love the folks on Mixer. You're cool and funny. Do you know what? It is such a tight blue top. I actually probably do look like a blue thong. And that is fair enough. Fair comment. Little, what is your name? Little gymnast. Little gymnast. Oh no, now that is an insult. He's just called me Donald Trump. What is going on there? I mean, I don't mind being compared to a blue thong, but an orange turnip is another matter entirely. <laughs> oh, let's not be rude. Come on. He's just a human being like everybody else. He might be an idiot, but he's just a human being. Let's not do politics. We're running. And we are now at 13 kilometers an hour for the next five minutes. I have to say, my uh, my avatar is a lot better looking than me. That is true. <laughs> oh, now now I'm getting back up. Go easy on me. I'm running hard. Thanks, guys. <laughs> So if you're wondering where all this is from, this is Zwift Running, Zwift Live. If you want to find out more, go to the Zwift Run page on Facebook or go to zwift.com forward slash run to find out all about it and how you can get on Zwift. Get your fitness levels up, get running when you can't get outside to run. It's all good. And uh, look at that, the kilometers are ticking over. Only uh, about three and a half K left to go now. Come on. Three minutes left at this pace. And then we increase to 13 and a half. See that big mountain ahead of us. You can actually climb that mountain. Get to the top, it's a thousand meter climb. But the funny thing for runners is that uh, unless we manually increase our incline on the treadmill, we don't actually feel any hills. The cyclists do. If a cyclist has got a smart treadmill, a smart trainer, then uh, as he goes up a hill, the resistance will increase on his bike making him feel like he's going up a hill. But we haven't got that yet on Zwift Running. It's, Zwift Running is really quite new. You know, it's only been out four months or so. And it's only in beta, or beta as you like to call it in the States. So still a way to go to get it right. That was a good one. 
I do apologise if you don't like me spitting out the window. Not a lot I can do. <laughs> well, there is a lot I can do. I can just not spit, I suppose. <laughs> um, somebody's asking how, how often I'm on Zwift. <laughs> I try and make it three times a week. Doesn't always happen. But Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 7.30 UK time. Wednesdays on my own channel. If you want to look me up, film my run. Film my run on YouTube, filmmyrun.com, on the web, and all the usual social media. Lovely waterfall. I wish I was getting some of the spray from that water now though. One more minute at this pace and we go up again. 10 more minutes, 11 more minutes of running left. Seven kilometers done, three to go. Thirty seconds, and then it gets harder. Okay, banging it out now, 13 and a half kilometers an hour. Five minutes at this pace. Let's go. Starting to hurt a bit now. Look at my heart rate, 169, 168. So we might even touch the red zone before the end of the run. Just caught a glimpse of the volcano there on the left as well. You can run through a volcano right to the top or right through the middle. You just have to watch you don't touch the lava because that really burns. There it is. You see the lava coming down into the water. One seventy now. And see my steps per minute now is getting higher because my legs are getting tireder. So as my legs tire, my muscles don't expand as much, causing my stride to be shorter. I can try and extend it out again. I try and relax, head up, breathe. Keep your body moving forward. So not side to side like this, but forward. Two and a half K to go. Oh yeah, they we're touching the red zone now. JT says, have I, have I done the cycling? Yes. I started out on Zwift cycling. I was actually the distance record holder on Zwift for cycling for about a day. I did 500 kilometers in about 17 hours on Zwift about two years ago. Three years ago, in fact. Soon to be beaten and it's now, the record is now about a thousand miles. which is 1,600 kilometers. But yeah, I started on Zwift a long time ago when it was only cycling. Right now, so two minutes to go at this pace, and then up to 14. 
for five more minutes. Those are final five minutes of this workout. We might have time for a cool down as well. Finding it difficult to talk now though. It's hard work. Oh yeah, that 500 kilometers killed me. There's a video on YouTube. If, um, I think it's on my old, my old channel. If you go to Zwift Runs and Rides on YouTube and you search for a um, distance record on Zwift or something like that. I did, I did 50 kilometers and then the program crashed on me. So I had to start it again. And then I did 450. So if you know about Strava, you can look it up on Strava. I was also the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. And that's on my film, my run channel. That was a year or so ago, a year and a half ago. But I wasn't going this fast. <laughs> okay, 30 seconds, 25 seconds. And we're going up for one final time. Definitely in the red zone now. Pushing it hard now. 10 seconds. Away we go, five more minutes and then we are done. We should have about 500 meters cool down at the end. I am edging ever closer to 20, level 20. You see level 19 there, creeping that orange line closer to level 20. Yeah, smart trainers are quite expensive. I think mine was about $1,000 US, obviously. Four minutes to go at this pace. Hope everybody's all right on Facebook. Thanks for joining me on Facebook tonight, guys, and on Mixer. And if you're watching on YouTube as well, hi, guys. Look at my steps for a minute now. It's really hurting. Let's try and bring it down. Make my stride length longer. See, if you concentrate, you can do it. But it's hard. Because your muscles need to stretch out more. And they can't because they're tired. Two and a half minutes left. 174, 175 BPM. Get ready on that emergency services number. No, that's all right. Seriously, don't. I'm fine. There's always a chance somebody would do it. Just two minutes left at this pace now. One kilometer left. 
but we'll probably finish this with about seven, 600 meters to go. Minute and a half. Sue Gross says she was about to call the emergency services. Thanks, Sue. Always good to know you're on hand. Hey, listen, if I go, your old man goes as well. It's all right, I know Sue's husband. Right, 44 minutes. One more minute at this pace. Let's bump it up then to the last 30 seconds. Okay. That's me done, I think. So chill out time for me. I don't know what the other guys are doing, but I'm slowing down. That's me done. Everyone else seems to be going on. Why are they doing that? Why would they possibly carry on faster? That's not fair. Do I have to carry on? Oh, come on then. Great shot of the lava there and the mountain in the background. 250 meters. See, if I was on my own, I'd have stopped. One seventy seven BPM. Forty seven minutes, hundred meters to go. There's the finish line. One seventy eight BPM. That's it, guys. Tim says, you're meant, to the run, you're meant to run to the line on this one. Thanks. All right, point taken. Let's let the heart rate come down a bit now.
Thanks everyone on Mixer for your input. Rude or not, well done guys, thanks a lot. And on Facebook as well, thanks for joining me for another Monday Run Club. I will be back on Wednesday for Wednesday workout. I will be going slow on that one. I will definitely be going slow. Oh, that's a nice shot. Mr. De Cruz, thank you. Yeah, because I'm, I've got a long run on Saturday, but I will be here. I will be up to film my run channel on Wednesday for a Wednesday workout. And then back here on the Zwift run channel and on Mixer and YouTube, uh, the Zwift Community Live channel for Friday workout, my workout. It's me on my own showing you some of the workouts that are available in game in Zwift for you to do. So just so you get an idea of what they're like before you go ahead and do them yourselves. So do join me at 7.30 UK time on Friday for that. Let me just show you what happens if I can get my mouse to work without sweat coming over it. It doesn't work when I've got sweat all over it. So we click menu and then we click end run. And it shows you a little kind of route of where you've gone. And it shows you your time and how fast you went, how many calories you burned. And that blue thumb with 11 next to it, that's 11 people gave me a thumbs up, which is called a ride on in Zwift. Excuse me while I get to the right screen. So that's it guys, it's been a pleasure. Look, when you look at heart rate, you can tell how hard somebody's worked. And if you look at the color of my uh, skin and the sweat dripping off, you know, that's a workout. It doesn't matter if I came first, it doesn't matter if I came last. You saw that my heart rate, rate went right into zone five. That's almost the highest I could go for the last little bit of that run. So that, that's a, a good, tough workout for a Monday night. And that's all you need because, you know, Zwift is a game and we love playing it, but the real work counts outside when you enter races outside in the real world. And, uh, and that's what counts. So it's how well you perform out there really against people on the streets or on the trails. So guys, thanks very much. It's been an absolute pleasure. See you again for another one. Uh, there's also Run in the Park on Saturday, nine o'clock UK time, Run in the Park on Saturday. And uh, do try and check out, if you are on Zwift and you are on Zwift running, check out the new um, Zwift uh, training plans. If you're training for a half marathon or you're working your way up to 5k or 10k, there's a training plan now for you on Zwift. Go, go to uh, the pairing screen um, or go to the menu screen rather and click on workouts and then click on training plans and there'll be something there for you. So check that out guys. Um, thanks very much. We will see you again for another Monday Run Club next Monday. Take care. Bye bye.